Changes at a virtual business website are causing some real-life trouble. She loves eBay, but now this Port St. Lucie woman is part of an international movement to boycott the online marketplace. I'm Corey Sabin. Find out why. eBay has become the place to turn to for inexpensive secondhand items. But some sellers say they are getting a raw deal, so they're urging users to click off the site as part of a nationwide boycott. I'm Corey Sabin on scene in Port St. Lucie, and this is Paula Blake's house. She has a love for everything Coca-Cola. She finds many of the items on eBay where she buys them, but she's also what you call a power seller. This job allows her to be a quasi stay-at-home mom, but now Paula and many of her constituents are upset because eBay is raising the end commission price from five and a quarter to eight and three quarters. Plus, they're forcing sellers to use their payment system, which means she has to front shipping costs and eBay fees, and they're eliminating honest feedback. The changes go in effect February 20th. That's why she wants all eBay users to protest victoriously the week of February 18th to the 25th so that the eBay higher-ups listen to the people that sell on the online marketplace. On scene in Port St. Lucie, Corey Sabin, WPBF News 25. Or not, today is like the Super Bowl for private investigators. She loves eBay, but now this Port St. Lucie woman is part of an international movement to boycott the online marketplace. I'm Corey Sabin. Find out why. Ever ride out a tornado? A unique look at a twister. That's next. You're watching WPBF News 25, where you always get your weather first. Some say it is the one place you can sell anything. Others call it one of the biggest garage sales in the world. Either way, the online auction website eBay is a booming business. But as Corey Sabin found out, one Port St. Lucie woman is boycotting eBay. Corey? Tiffany, she's part of a global movement. She's upset that the online marketplace is raising their fees. It's the very first one. And there is some Trekkie out there who's absolutely dying to have it. She makes her living selling stuff on eBay. Each week, Paula Blake. I'm just going to reinforce it a little bit since I did take it all apart. Boxes and ships out 30 items or more. Most are picked up at yard sales or storage auctions. And I scrounge for boxes everywhere. I'm constantly dumped or diving. My kids are very used to it. We'll be driving down the road to school. Wait, 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 there's a box. But now eBay is making changes that will affect Paula and hundreds of thousands of sellers. They raised our end commission from five and a quarter to eight and three quarters, which is an enormous increase for small time sellers. Just like a mom and pop store, a lot of us, we can't absorb that amount. We have to pass it on to the customer. And she says the online marketplace is forcing them to use their payment system. In addition to forcing us to use it, they're going to hold our money in a lot of cases for 21 days. Well, I count on that money. I run a very tight budget. You buy something, you pay me. I use the money that you paid me to ship it. Well, what bothers her most... eBay is eliminating seller's ability to leave anything except the positives. Well, that means that we can't warn other, other sellers. Case. Hey, watch out, this is a scam buyer. So now she's joined a global movement. It's called Protest Victoriously. A play on eBay's popular ad slogan, Shop Victoriously. Our sellers commit not to sell during the week of the 18th to the 25th. Buyers commit not to buy. In fact, don't even log on so that there aren't any hits. Because maybe somehow eBay will begin to see that we are their customers. We are the ones who pay their salary. They hope next week's eBay boycott will force the company's CEO to listen. The people who work the trenches every day are the ones who really should be coming up with the solutions, not someone who sits up in a high horse and has never bought or sold anything on eBay. eBay says the changes mean a majority of their sellers will see their fees go down, and it'll cost them 25% less to list an item. Live in Port St. Lucie, Corey Sabin, WPBF News 25.